Welcome again to Garage Science and another fantastic review and enrichment lesson. Now this lesson Bob and I have been thinking about doing for a number of years, but we just came up with a thousand excuses not to, and so we figured we owe it to you guys to at least attempt it. So we're going to give it a whirl, okay? So what we have here is a project called the Whoosh Bottle, okay? Sounds simple enough. We start with ethyl alcohol plus oxygen. So notice what we're going to have here. And we have these two products. These are our reactants. These are the products. We get water and carbon dioxide. So this is pretty much harmless when we get out the other end. It's this part we have to worry about. Now, balance this. This is a challenge to balance. But you've been trained. You know how to do this. You can do this. Little hint here. None of the coefficients is above the number 10, okay? None are above 10. So what really encompasses the whoosh bottle, okay? Well, it's, it's a very, very simple reaction that shows you a lot of wonderful things to review and to learn. So let me go through these real quickly instead of just keep babbling to here. First of all, it talks about the fire triangle. The fire triangle consists of oxygen, fuel, and heat. Now, inside that large carboil back there, we're going to have oxygen, and we're going to put fuel, the ethyl alcohol. And then we're going to introduce heat by way of matches taped to the end of a very long stick. Okay? Now, what you're going to get is this. First of all, the alcohol is going to have, go through evaporation. Notice the word vapor in there. When things evaporate, they turn into a vapor. So the alcohol is going to vaporize. And why do we want it to vaporize? Is because when it vaporizes, you get more surface area. That means more surface area to come in contact with oxygen when it starts to get the heat. So what you're going to get is a very rapid burn, okay? Which causes a rapid expansion of the gases that are being produced because the water that's being produced is going to be in a vapor. So carbon dioxide is already a gas, you know that. But you do not, not get an explosion. That's why you want to make sure you don't get this completely balanced. This you want to balance completely. In there, no. Because it would be too rapid, and we don't want to do that. And what really happens in there is this. Charles's Law takes over. When you get that rapid burn, you add heat to the gases. Well, the gases, that heat increases the molecular kinetic energy. They move faster. When they move faster, okay... That's going to increase the pressure in all directions, okay? Pressure always goes from high to low. That's what drives weather. All our weather is because of high and low pressure. Well, anyway, this pushes in all directions, and the only way it can get out is through that hole. It's like, say, everybody in my home room trying to run out the door at one time when the bell goes off. You guys would have never tried that, but... Uh -huh. right, anyway, so... As it rushes out due to Charles's law, you get the whoosh out the bottle. And believe it or not, even Newton shows up. But we'll see that a little bit later. Right now, I'm just going to show you how we get this ready. But we really have to wait till it gets darker outside so we can actually show you the reaction. So I'll show you how we start this, and then later we'll put some things outside so you can see how it works. Bob and I checked, and it's dark enough outside now to try this. So this is what we're going to do. We have this five-gallon jug here, and uh, we didn't have a cork because, you know, the circumstances being what they are. Uh, so we made a cork. Uh, this is part of a wooden flagpole that we used to rasp, and we sanded it down. Now the little sucker works pretty good. I put the orange on there so I don't lose it again. Okay, so I'm going to measure out 25 milliliters of the alcohol. Yes, Bob, I have my glasses on. Thank you very much. Thank you for caring about my safety. A lot of kids noted that. Okay. Cap that up. We're going to move that real far away. Put that in there. Okay, we're going to move both of those away here in a little bit. 
I'm just going to put that in there at the end. Now, what you're supposed to do is lay this thing sideways so we can get that alcohol to go the whole way around in there. Now, I've noticed, let's start that, that I watched a couple videos of real professionals doing this, and they took about 30, 40 seconds, maybe even a minute to do this. I want to make sure that I've got this thing coated in there as much as I possibly can. Wow, it seems to have all evaporated. I don't see any in there. Um, so I had to shake it though, so I'm only 29 seconds. So, uh, uh, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when your homework's done. When your homework's done, you never know, dear, how much I miss you. Please don't take my videos in vain. Sing it, Bob. Okay, maybe not. All right. So anyway, I think we've got this. So we're going to shut this off, and we're going to take this outside because it's dark enough, and we're going to give it a try. Okay. Be outside. Three, two, one. All right, Bob, it's dark enough. You ready? I'm ready. Let's try this. All right, we got that lit. I'll kick back. <laughs> that was worth staying up for, wasn't it, Bob? Okay, let's see what we got here. It's cold outside. <laughs> How's that for a whoosh, buddy? Go ahead. Okay, here we go, Bob. There we go. <laughs> what do you think about that whoosh, Bob? <laughs> Boy, it's cold out there. Oh, hey, good morning. Um, last night, as uh, we were cleaning up, Bob and I were talking. You know how it is when you're talking, you clean things up, putting things away. We were talking, and we came up with some not-so-brilliant ideas, but we did. We weren't thinking about it a good bit. Um, remember when the bottle, when, when we ignited the alcohol, and Charles' wall took over when the oxidation reaction took place, and, and fire came out, and it pushed the air this way, and according to Newton, it pushes it this way. If you remember watching, if you remember, the bottle did swing out. So we were thinking, that's dangerous considering what's in Bob's head. Him and I thinking together is not, not a whole lot put together there. But anyway, we were thinking, what if? And so, and, and you know, we're in the garage, so what if? You make something like this. Now, would that actually work? And the thing is, eh, I don't know. It's worth a shot, isn't it? Uh, yeah, probably not a very good place for Bob to be sitting right now. Uh, we couldn't try this in the garage anyway because it's that whole fire thing. So if we do try it and it's really cold right now, 
So we might have to try it later, but um, it's a thought. So you guys think about that while you're answering the questions. Bob and I thought about it, so we're going to give it a shot here. See what happens. It's extremely cold out here, and alcohol doesn't evaporate very well in cold weather. So, in the warm, this would work better. All right. 